George Sutton Athletics here in the first edition of the Summer Catch-Up Series with men's basketball head coach Mark Byington. And it's your first summer in Statesboro. Can you talk about the transition of coming to a new town? Well, the, the transition has been great. Uh, the people have been very welcoming for myself, my family, my son. And, um, you know, we spent a lot of time in the hotel, but things are kind of settling down a little bit now as far as getting in our house, uh, learning the way around the town. But everyone's been great, uh, just really treating us uh, well, helping us out, bending over backwards to do things for us. And, and uh, we're really appreciative of that. And Coach, you've got some summer camps coming up. Can you talk about what you guys have in store for the uh, youngins this, this summer? Yeah, we're only going to have one day camp. Um, instead of, um, we'd like to have more, but just kind of getting things going, we'll do one. And uh, the dates are going to be June 17th to June 20th. And um, it's uh, six-year-olds all the way up to 17-year-olds. Uh, they're going to have a great time. Uh, the camp won't be a huge camp, so they're going to get a lot of attention from myself, from our staff, from our players. Um, so it'll be a fun time to learn the fundamentals of the game, and I think it'll be a great time for summer for them to kind of get a, get away from some of the other things they might be doing in their life and come play a little basketball. Yeah, it sounds like fun, Coach. And you've been able to actually work with the student-athletes the second year of the NCAA's regulations allowing you to work out the players in the summer. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about, in general, what you guys can and can't do with the student-athletes in the summer session? Well, what they're allowed to do is they're allowed to work out two hours a week for eight weeks. And um, during that time, uh, some guys are here for summer school, some guys aren't here. Uh, but it's really a great thing for a new coach. Um, coming in the spring, we didn't get as much basketball work as what uh, we wanted to do. Um, but we're able to now to get a lot of stuff done on the floor. Uh, the guys responded well. They're starting to understand, um, you know, my, my demands, what I like for them, what I think so I'm going to be something that's going to help them. And we're spending a ton of time on skill development. So they're getting a lot of individual attention. We're pushing them. So it's a great time for them to get better. And, Coach, you've got, done a great job with the recruiting class so far, uh, possibly some more to come. And um, they'll start coming into town in a couple weeks for B term. Can mm -hmm. you talk about how excited you are to see those guys in person in Statesboro? Yeah, it's going to be great to have them. Um, you know, we got the job um, in April, so it's a little bit late, and we're putting together a recruiting class of five people. It took a lot of hard work by the staff, and they did a great job of finding some good young men that we're hoping going to help us. Um, you know, we have one of them here right now. Curtis Dime has done a great job, and um, you know, so far working out the last couple of weeks. And the rest of them will be here June 24th for that summer B term, and uh, we're going to throw them in the mix. Um, I need some of them to step up and play right away. And uh, that's one of the exciting things for them when I was recruiting them is uh, they'll have a chance to play right away, and they're going to have that opportunity. So um, I think they see it. We're losing four starters off of last year's team. Uh, we're losing almost 70% of our scoring. So there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to have to really step up and have new roles, and maybe some of these guys can do it that are new, and maybe some of the old guys can go to a new role. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. All right, thank you.